Hi guys, Mr. Offwaffles here. I have had countless people tweeting me their ideas and also leaving comments as well concerning the Snapchat teasers that we've been getting and also the unmarked man tweets that are all teasing Black Ops 3. Now, you've had some great ideas, guys, and there's been loads of awesome discussion going on, but I want to highlight this and provide you with some information that I thought was interesting and allow you to draw your own conclusions, because it's all very well if I just sit here and tell you what I think, but it's really good to hear your guys' opinions too. So, what is this, you might ask? What is it that I am referring to? Well, if we go back on a little trip to Kino de Toten, we can find an old texture from the game files. I've personally pulled this out of the files themselves so you can get the best possible resolution, and you can see that this is a texture from the map, it's on one of the walls in Kino, and it's been there since release. This hasn't been patched in, this hasn't been tweaked in any way for this particular viral campaign, unlike the Snapchat ghosts that we've seen in Black Ops 2. If you remember those, I made a video about those before all the Snapchats and everything. Before it all began, I had a video on that, and they were added into the game specifically for the purpose of the viral campaign. But this particular texture has been there for a long ass time, so Take from that what you will, you can draw your conclusions as I have mentioned, but alongside the actual MRI scans that we can see in this image, which is the reason that I'm bringing this up, because we've seen these really extensively in the teasers themselves on Dr. Salim's Snapchat, there's also plenty of other stuff in the image too. Now, the way it works in-game is that the actual texture itself will be cut up into little chunks, and so you'll see one section of the image, for example the head in the center, that might be a poster somewhere, and the dog poster might be completely on a different area of the map. They split the texture up in that way and only show you a certain part of it. In the case of the scans, just to give you an example of what I mean, the dog poster is actually below it rather than the dog being above it. So that's the way that it works in game. So we can see various things in the texture. Obviously, you've got the writing and stuff that's been sketched out all over the different areas of the poster. Unfortunately, the texture resolutions in Black Ops 1 in Kino de Toten aren't really that great. And so it's not the easiest thing to read in the world, but if you guys really want to have a good look at it, I'm going to link the texture itself in the description. You guys know that I'm a big Zombies fan and I'm happy to help you guys out in your quest for answers. So, that aside, if we look specifically at the scans, I mean, what can we say? It's very similar, I would, I would say, to the MRI scans that we've seen in the teasers, but then again, any MRI scan or any CT scan, any CAT scan, is going to look like this, pretty much. A couple of other things I can mention about it that you can use to piece together your argument for or against whatever. Uh, it's called Posters Anatomy, that is the name of the file, the actual sort of reference in the textures. It's obviously taken from the PC game files rather than console, but it is obviously there on console. It's just that the actual texture that I'm providing you with and showing you is the one from PC. I wanted this video to be similarly styled to the one I did about Dr. Salim possibly actually appearing at the end of the World at War campaign. You can check my channel for that if you feel so inclined, but I wanted it to be informative without really pushing my opinion on you guys too much, so hopefully you guys have found this sufficiently interesting, and I'm also in the next couple of days as well probably going to be looking at the Black Ops 1 Kino de Toten projector videos that you can play, you get the film reels themselves and actually put them in the projector and you can see things like an eye and stuff like that, and they're quite interesting videos, so gonna be posting a vid on those very very soon, make sure you're subscribed, I'm sure you've already liked the video, you guys tend to be pretty damn good with that sort of thing, but if you haven't already, then, you know, there's a little thumbs up button, go on, give it a little tickle, and I will see you very soon in another Black Ops 3 or other video, okay, see you later guys, bye bye.